It was really quite romantic, much like a perfume ad. He offered her a scarlet rose, the last the florist had. She thought the flower beautiful, though only still a bud. She had no way of knowing this rose had roots in mud. He asked her for a drink right then. She considered for a while, not wishing to appear too keen, before accepting with a smile. They went into a little bar a short way up the street. He ordered her a glass of wine, himself a whiskey, neat. He told her that his name was Mike, a key man in PR. He had a spread near Swindon and a large Teutonic car. He was needed in the city, so he kept a pad in town. He'd be pleased to have her over whenever she was down. He reached across the tabletop and placed his hand on hers. Just then there was a blinding light, a flash, a click, a whir. Damn that bloody man, he said, I'll sort him out this time. And he was gone, like a shot, or a sprinter off the line. So on her homeward train that night, she gave it all some thought. She looked again upon the rose the creepy git had bought. And now the bud was opening, it was easy to perceive. This rose was not perfection, it was riddled with disease. She cursed herself for getting caught, the things she should have seen, on his hand the untanned band where a wedding ring had been. She realised that the cameraman must be his wife's detective. She threw away the bloody rose, by any name defective.